tumkaribishe naibu wa rais ili aweze kuzungumza nasi karibu na, na kitu ambacho nataka niwaambie if you have allergic for the truth please just leave Because... this man when he take this mic if you have allergic for the truth Asante sana mheshimiwa speaker tafadhali tuketi. Uh, Professor Naji and the trustees of Meda Foundation, the honorable speaker of the Senate, Bwana Kingi, rafiki wangu wa miaka karibu 20 na kitu, Governor Mungaro, the honorable Amina our leader pale bunge la kitaifa mheshimiwa Owen Baya viongozi wale wote ambaye wamefika hapa dada na dugu wa islamu salam alaikum hamjambo mimi nashukuru sana na ninasikia vizuri sana kwa kupata nafasi kufika hapa kwa mwaliko wenu kwa chakula cha jioni cha iftar tukielekea kufunga mwezi mtakatifu wa Ramadhani mimi na wale tumekuja nao tumefurahia chakula kizuri tena kingi na mkitualika tena tutakuja ile biryani tumekula hapa bado patana naye pahali kama imebaki tutarudi pale Tumefika hapa kwa sababu sisi ni wa Kristo lakini tunaheshimu dini yenu ya Waislamu kwa sababu nyinyi you are very genuine in your faith ile kuomba mara tano kwa siku na muweze kosa tunaheshimu nyinyi sana na sisi tunajifunza mengi kwa hii mwezi atu e, mtakatifu wa Ramadhani ile kujinyima na ile kuwa na huruma kwa kila mtu na hasa wale wako chini we are very encouraged by our muslim brothers and sisters for your sacrifice in fasting and for being kind to everybody and more so the less fortunate members of society. Kwa hivyo siku huyu mheshimiwa Wenbaya ameniambia nikuje tukule chakula jioni tukisherekea pamoja alafu tuchange pesa to support this foundation. Where you are educating children ambaye kama wangepata usaidizi hawezi kusoma you are helping children with special needs you are involved in rehabilitation of drug addicts and other very honorable activities i want to say i'm proud to be here to support this initiative <laughs> and i really want to encourage you to continue doing good to your fellow human beings and more so the hasla nation wale wako pale chini na mimi napongeza nyinyi sana. Na ninajivunia tukiwa nao viongozi, tukiwa pamoja tukuje tusaidiane. Mimi niseme kwanza hiyo maneno ya kusaidia wale ambayo wamewekwa na madawa ya kulevia, mimi napenda sana. Najua rais wetu amenipatia kazi ya kuongoza vita kali. Levia ambaye hapa katika pwani ni tatizo kubwa. Watu wengi wale wapendi ukweli, wanataka kusema hakuna shida. Nilikuwa mkutano pale Mombasa. Ya viongozi wote na wakakuja hawa wote. Wale wakufika kwa sababu wanataka kukimbia kwa ukweli. Walitukana sisi na kutoa matusi ya kwamba tunapoteza muda kuongelea maneno ya mihadarati. Lakini hiyo tu ni kutorokea ukweli. Ukweli ni kwamba there is a big challenge. 
in coast province of hard drugs, heroin, Bali, and other challenges. What we jidunga, we have a big challenge, and that is the truth. Na sisi tumetangaza vita, thidi ya pombe haramu, na madawa ya kulevia, na inaendelea hapa. And just when I've arrived, I've talked to the kamati yetu ya usalama ya hapa malindi, na nimewambia hawa. We want more effort. This is a government that will deal with the drug and substance abuse conclusively once and for all. And I want to tell the drug barons who are filthy rich in this province. Some are politicians, others are businessmen. God will punish them one day. Hao wanatajirika wakiuwa na kuharibu watoto wa wenyewe. Tutapambana na hawa they can run, but they will not hide. And I want to ask you, our sheikhs, our imams, our Muslim brothers and sisters, please join the government in supporting this war. Na huyu mzee wetu, anapigana na madawa, ni meshukuru sana. Nita mwalika tukue na kikao. I'll invite you, kuja tukunye chai. So that you can be our ambassador. Asante sana mzee wangu. Thank you very much. Mungu. Good job that you are doing. Let me say ya kwamba serikali yetu iligia kwa uongozi tukiwa na matatiso mengi sana. Tulikuta mambo imeharibika kumezoroteka. Lakini kwa nafasi ya mwaka moja unusu raisu wetu wa mejika kamua kwa kuweka DBD na kupata ushauri mzuri mambo imeanza kuwa sawa dola ambayo ilikuwa karibu 168 imetremuka sasa mpaka 130 na inaendelea kuteremka tulipoingia hata kama mheshimiwa Amina mlikuwa mnatupigia kelele na kuvaa sufuria kwa kichwa tukiingia unga ilikuwa Waka 120, 125 na mumenya masa. Sisi diyo tumetremusha. Mbu wapana jaribu. Uyu mtoto wa sugoi wadu walikuwa wana mutharawu. Lakini hapa katikati ya masikiwa ya kwa sawa. Na BD, busi yangu wako sawa. Na hii Kenya itabadilika. Kenya, mataweza liwa leo na anze kukula maindi. Ama anze kutebea. Pole, 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 mwaka moja unusu tumeanza kuona matunda ya uongozi bora. Na mambo ya takuwa mazuri zaidi. Kwa hivyo, bimi ni meseme kwa upa. Tumeajiri wa limu 56,000. Ambayo wa mengia kazi. Na mwesha. Tutaandika wengine 20,000. Tutakusaidia. So that we support. Pia pia tunaomba wazazi. Wakubali kupeleka watoto shule. Hii maneno ya kupeleka watoto wa olewe. Watoto wanakuwa mama. Tuachane na hiyo maneno imepito na wakati. Let us take our children to school. So that we prepare their future. Leo asubuhi nimekuwa hapo Pwani University. Nikiwa na mentorship program ya kuongea na watoto wetu mambo ya ulevi. Na kuwapatia mtisha ya kuamba wakitia BD. Watakuwa watu ya maana hapo mbele na tumekuwa na mazungumzo mazuri sana. Tunataka hapa pwani tuweke BD kwa mambo ya masomo. Tuko chini kidogo. Tuweke BD and I really want to support this program for the focus on education so that tuweze kusaidia watoto wetu. 
mambo ya usalama mheshimiwa umesema upungufu ya magari ni kweli tulipata pia shida kwa sababu ya kuzoroteka kwa uchumi tuko na mpango katika ile program yetu ya leasing ya kukodisha magari ya kutumia polisi kukodisha magari elfu moja hivi karibuni na hiyo magari kiwa tayari nitahakikisha hapa Malindi tumeongeza nyinyi magari ndio hii maofisa wetu waweze kusunguka na kushika doria <laughs> na kupambana na mihadarati niseme pia mambo ya airport huyu gavana ameongea vizuri hiyo airport inataka kazi and tutaongea na waziri wetu mukomen is one of the programs ambayo tunaangalia how to expand the runway so that we can have an international airport huyu huyu gavana hata kama ni azimio kwa vitabu kwa damu ni mtu yetu huyu <laughs> mungaro tulikuwa na yeye kutoka 2002 Tumekuwa marafiki na yeye for the last 24 years. Mimi nilikuwa mtu ya mkono ya Uhuru Kenyatta. Na yeye alikuwa amesimama hapa Malindi na Kanu wakaanguka. Na yeye na Uhuru na Ruto tulikuwa timu moja. Na hata siku wameenda azimio tukamwambia enda kama baraka rais ndio tukutane. Unajua sasa ukitaka kuenda safari unaangalia ile gari itafanya nini? Uende na bus, uende na personal ama utemee mguu. Na kaa ndio nifike wacha nipitie hapa kwa azimio. But he is our person. Eh, nani rafiki yetu? Because najua roho yake na vile anapenda watu ya kilifi. Na mimi naona vile anafanya watu ya bwana mmefuata hii mzee mwingi amejaribu kufika imekuwa ngumu sasa rais ameona hii mzee baada ya kumia hii miaka yote na miaka imezidi amtaftie na sasa nyinyi mtabaki msituni kimustuni sasa hii kijana ya kama alishinda nyinyi mkiwa na system na deep state kweli mtamweza so sasa kila mtu anataka kuwa kwa serikali hata nyinyi mliuga baba mkono mkifikia mtafi mtafika lakini the destination of every society is government sasa rais ako mimi niko tusaidiane kwa kazi ya kusukuma maendeleo kwa sababu naye mzee tutakuwa tumepanga ye na yeye amepata risi na fahari anaenda si mbaya aenda akae hapo atakuwa mkubwa na kula mali yake pole pole nasema hii na nini na nini na nyinyi sasa kwa hewa governor msibaki kwa hewa lakini hiyo ni uamuzi wenu mkitaka kubaki kwa hewa pia ni uamuzi wenu Kenya is a democratic country na kila mtu ataheshimiwa kwa uamuzi lakini kama mimi mgeniuliza kwa serikali si mbaya. <laughs> Wacha mzee kwanza aondoke mtaangalia. Akisha mtapima muone vile mtakaa. Sasa mimi nikimalizia
mkuu wa nchi hii ambaye ndiye mkubwa wangu rais William umepokea yeye kwa sababu mimi kumjulisha na kuomba ruhusa kwa sababu mimi ni mtu ya nidhamu na maisha yangu hapo awali nilikuwa mtu ya uniform nilikuwa nafaa kama hii ya huyu commissioner so mimi ni mtu ya discipline so nimeenda kwa rais a e, madindi wameda wameniandika sema ah siku walihitaji mimi pale walikuwa wakiniita saa kumi na mbili na fika wanakuta nimeke nimeketi siku walitaka kusaidisi nilikuwa pale na ni watu wazuri sana na yale kazi ya Mungu kwa hivyo wewe enda uwashikilie hata mimi nitakutuma na mchango uwasalimie uwapelekee mchango wangu lakini mimi kuuliza uliza nikapata habari nikapima pima tu William Ruto nyinyi watu ya meda bila kuchelewa siku mlihitaji ye kufanya mema alikuwa hapo siku mli hamkuweko mlienda kwa wengine ambaye hawakuwa nimesikia mheshimiwa anaita Fadhila Fa Fadhila Sa- Biblia inasema mtu akikutendea mema pia umtendee nini huyu busi yangu alitendea nyinyi mema kila siku mlimuita alifika nyinyi ilikuwaje kwani siku alihitaji nyinyi mkapika kona sasa yeye hakulalamika kwa mimi ndio nimechunguza ya kunusa nusa maneno akaniambia hao watu waambie nina ya Mungu na uambie hawa nimekupatia mchango mzuri wapelekee mwaka ujao na mwaka ingine wakiniita nitafika the amina nilijiona kwa na mimi nitafanya kazi na wewe na nitakushika mkono nitakusaidia lakini yule mheshimiwa Amina alikuwa naona kwa na yule nimeona hapa unajua ndio nilikuweko nilikuwa naingia ofisi saa kumi. kuangalia ni wapi iko maneno ndio nijue vile nitafanya report Kenya vile imeenda ile report nilikuwa napata ya Malindi na huyu mheshimiwa akiongoza ile nilisoma leo ni tofauti na ndio mheshimiwa kwa sababu labda Nisaidie huyu mtoto. Yeah. Mimi nitamkatisha shini ni kushauri ni kuambie ukichaguliwa na wananchi unaangalia area una ni gani? 
uchumi wa malindi ni utalii utalii ndio uvume kuna takikana amani lele mukachoma matairi mukaweka sufuria kwa kichwa wazungu wote ni wazungu kwa hivyo mheshimiwa what you do in leadership you look at your people the people you lead hata kama kiongozi wa chama yenu anasema mufanye something ukiona inaweza haribu uchumi ya sema uko na homa ndio pale kwetu kiguyuni mali hakuna mtu anaweza kuja kwa sababu watu ya pale kazi yao ni kutafuta mali na kuchunga mali so we want to mentor our young leaders and i'm very happy with mheshimiwa na nitakuunga nitaku support so that in future you look at the economy of malindi any activity that can cause disruption to those activities that concern your people you are careful tutafanya kazi ya kurudisha utalii hapa Malindi. Mumesema ya kwamba mahoteli munauza. Nitatafutia nyinyi wa kikuyu ya kuja kununua hiyo mahoteli. Si wa kikuyu mnajua wako na pesa? Najua hao hapana tumia sana. Kuingia ikiingia kutoka ni shida. Wanakuwa kama bank. Unajua bank ukipeleka pesa hakuna mtu anauliza yeye swali. Lakini kutoa wapi kitabulisho? Nini nini ni so we look us to come and assist in Malindi and we environment for tourism they and they made the economy of this constituency them to come back sisi upande wa usalama will do our part the political so that we create an environment yao wazungu kuja hapa watu wachie dola watu wachie euro watu wachie ile kitu ingine wako nayo so we'll work together and i want to say these things like tourism mheshimiwa hasina chama we'll work with you because malindi is part of kenya when tourists come to malindi they come with foreign currency it is good So these are activities that we must support all the time. Na tutaendelea kuunga nyinyi mkono. Kwa hivyo mimi nimeshukuru sana na mimi nitakuja Malindi. I used to come hapa Kasorina kulikuwa na muitaliano rafiki yangu the late Paulo Tasia. Nilikuwa nakuja na kaa hapo kwake. When tourism was thriving, you could not even get a hotel room. Malindi was thriving. Siku tulikuwa tunaenda kulikuwa na disco hapo anaitwa Stardust. Tulikuwa vijana. Si unajua Stardust? Hapo tulikuwa tuna promotion wimbo mpaka asubuhi. Sisi tumeona mambo mingi mkitoona tumenyamaza. So this was a very vibrant town. And we used to come here to have a happy time. And the place was full of tourists. I'll sit down with this leader because Governor Mungaro is my great friend. Mrembo wenu tumejuana na tumependana tutaketi chini. Tuanze kupanga uchumi wa hapa. Tujue ni nini tutafanya turudishe watalii. Market Malindi again as a tourist destination. What do we do about the Italians who loved Malindi and they are not coming? That is a question that we must have. Mngetupenda tuketi na wao viongozi tuanze kuangalia. So mimi nimeshukuru sana 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 na kwa sababu kuchanga pesa sitaki nipitishe hapo mimi nimefurahia tutalala hapa mungu town tukiona vile anakaa kwa sababu sisi ni watu napenda kutembea na miguu tukiogea na watu ya kawaida sisi ya simple people hatutaki mambo mingi hatutaki kizungu mingi tuelewe hii town inakaa na namna gani we pick a few things nipate nafasi ya Malindi back to where it was but i want to say what we are here program 
Professor. It is the right thing to do. It is godly. 